this story is The Banana Kid. It was six o'clock in the evening, and as half of Britain listened to the latest TV news bulletin, the other half didn't. Meanwhile, in the current fishing dispute, there are charges that trawler men and fishmongers are working hand in glove to reduce the catch of fish fingers. Now a public service announcement. Because of the unprecedented demand for the services of Banana Man in his never-ending war against the forces of evil, he has decided to take on an assistant. The thousands of applicants who are expected tomorrow morning are asked to form an orderly queue. But the next morning, all that turned up on the doorstep of 29 Acacia Road were two pints of milk and a strange youth who thought he was applying for a job at the swimming bath. Banana Man opened the door to his weedy little visitor. No, this isn't the swimming bath, son. But if you have the strength, speed and superior intelligence it takes to be a super crime fighter, you could be my assistant. You could be the Banana Kid. Wow, zoinks! Possibly. However, you will have to pass a number of qualifying tests. Have you ever crashed through a brick wall or lifted a double-decker bus? Well, uh, well, no, sir. I admit I haven't actually done that, but I am a very, very fast learner, Mr. Banana, sir. Just then, the phone rang. Banana Man picked it up. Good morning. This is the swimming bath attendant at the Acacia Road Light Hall. We've got a problem here, Banana Buck. There's, um, there's a thing in the water without a ticket. I, um, I'll be honest, I think it's a, I think it's a shark. Is it a man-eater? Oh, I don't know. I tell you after we've had lunch. Banana Man knew this was a call to action. We'll have to finish your tests later, kid. Right now, I must fly. And that's exactly what Banana Man did. Oop, straight up through the ceiling. The Banana Kid wanted to fly too, but without Banana Man's special powers, he was grounded. He jumped up and down, he flapped his arms furiously. He even took his penknife and three used bits of chewing gum from his pockets to make himself lighter, all to no avail. Then he was struck by an idea. Ow! A millisecond later, Banana Man landed at the poolside. And the Banana Kid wasn't far behind, swimming through the air as he dangled from a cluster of balloons tied to his waist. How the banana fans at the poolside rejoiced at the arrival of their hero. And, um, the other one. And suddenly, from the silent depths below, the shark rose to inspect today's three-course dinner. Two gleaming rows of teeth gnashed in anticipation. Stand back, kid. Leave this to me. I'd hate to lose you to those razor-sharp teeth. But what about you, Mr. Banana, sir? Me? Never mind. Someone got to do it. One mighty leap, and Banana Man was on the high board. Muscles like coiled springs shot him into the air. A triple loop, a reclining horizontal with lasagna, and look at that, a one and a half pike. A pike? Uh, well, like a flounder. Then Banana Man plunged into the blue waters of the pool, his head turning this way and that as he swept the depths, watching and listening for the shark. Suddenly... Streaking out of nowhere, the shark was there. Massive jaws snapping shut, a hair's breadth from our hero. Before it could blink, Banana Man grabbed it and they began to wrestle. As you know, Banana fans, Big B has handled some mighty slippery customers in his time. But this finny foe was too much. The slippery shark popped out of Banana Man's grasp and disappeared into the murky depths. Seeing no sign of the fearsome fish, our soggy hero now had no choice but to surface and seek the assistance of his new assistant. This calls for a banana power dive. Hand me one of those bananas, kid. A big banana. Here you are, Mr. Banana, sir. As Banana Man swallowed the big banana, his muscles throbbed and pulsed with renewed strength. Three, two... 
One. Launch. And he took off like a rocket into the sky. Up, up, and up. No, it's not a giant blue bottle. It's Banana Man. Then he came down, down, and down like a dive bomber towards the swimming pool far below. Meanwhile, at the poolside, the banana kid was angling for promotion with his fishing rod, his line dangling into the sinister waters of the pool. When suddenly, as Banana Man plunged into the pool from a great height, his little assistant got a mighty bite. Perjure. Bite, bite. And anyway, the, the, the water of the pool erupted with a furious contest. Then, just as suddenly, all was still. Down in the depths, Banana Man searched and searched and searched until finally, unable to find any sign of the shark, he surfaced to find his ever-faithful feathered friend, Crow, hovering overhead. But where was that shark? Excuse me, sir, it's over here. Banana Man's gaze travelled to the poolside, to his little assistant, the Banana Kid, posing for the photographers with his catch. The shark. Banana Man's lightning fast mind summed up the situation immediately and he came to the conclusion that perhaps he did not need an assistant after all. Not one like the Banana Kid, anyway. <laughs>